Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Well, I uh, just want to thank all the folks who viewed and commented on my last video about uh, Micro Four Thirds and professional use and some people saying that you can't use it for that, which is eh, ridiculous. So thanks everybody for that. That was a well-watched video. Uh, but today what I want to do is talk a little bit about uh, travel and specifically about a travel bag that I have bought. Um, now everybody, you, you always hear this thing about getting a bag that doesn't look like a camera bag. Oh, let's get a bag that doesn't look like a camera bag. And you got to wonder how much that matters. I mean, if somebody's going to steal a bag, they're going to steal a bag for other than camera equipment, right? You got a laptop in there, you got a tablet in there, whatever it is, you probably have something of value in a shoulder bag. So, but what I did was I looked into a security bag. A big manufacturer in the security bag space is PackSafe. And so I went to their website and looked at what they had and uh, saw one and it turns out I think it's discontinued, at least on the PackSafe site. Interestingly, Amazon still has it. And it is this shoulder bag. This is a PackSafe MetroSafe LS250. This is a 12 liter shoulder bag. And the thing that PackSafe does is they put in some really nice security features in this bag. Does this bag look like a camera bag? Probably not, but again, not sure how much it matters. Uh, somebody wants your bag? I don't think they're going to ask questions. But what PackSafe does is, first, the material is made of uh, it's it's made of recycled plastics, and it is slash resistant, slash proof. I think it's probably pretty hard to slash through this. It's got kind of a mesh running through it. The other thing that they do is they put steel wire in the shoulder strap, so you're not going to be able to cut that. And as far as the, the other security features, uh, it's got these double zippers, right? Yeah, double and double zippers. Everybody has <coughs> double zippers on their bag, and of course, you can lock those. Uh, some double zippers have a little extra tab with a hole in it for a lock. But what PackSafe does is they've got this little security snap here. You can actually take the zipper and snap it into this little sort of carabiner thing and then slide a cover up over it so that you it's real hard for anybody to get that thing open and not only that there is a little hole here for a lock which prevents that cover from sliding down so that's cool that's for the main compartment there's also an outside secondary compartment uh, this one you actually can also line up the zipper with this security snap here and put all of that in there. But if you're wanting to keep that relatively easy for you to get in and out of, there is down here at the bottom a little clip. And so you can clip, actually you probably only need to clip the top zipper. And not going to be able to get that open. At least not easy. Other thing, let's just say you stop for a cup of coffee, you want to take this off, you want to put it down. It has a security clip here on the strap. So you can't just open the strap, you have to twist a collar, a little collar thing, oops, there, to one side, and then unclip this. But then you can clip it around something and clip it back onto this, you've got it, nobody's going to be able to grab it and run off with it. So that's all cool. Other features that they have, they have a water bottle pocket on both sides of the bag. So you can have a water bottle in one and you can have an umbrella in the other. So it's really not a camera bag. So when you open up the main compartment, you just got a kind of a big weight in here. You've also got a tablet slot, so you can slip a, this is an 11 inch iPad Pro, goes in there no problem. Right here, open this more, right here you have an RFID safe pocket. So if you want to put credit cards in there, your wallet, 
if your wallet's not uh, RFID protected, uh, probably when you're in a crowd, you want to have your wallet in here anyway, rather than a pocket, pickpockets. But uh, and you can put your passport in there. So cool, right? Uh, but if you're going to put camera equipment in here, what you need to do is buy one of these. So this is a Ruggard camera insert. I'll put a link to the bag and this thing down in the description. They're not referral links, so don't make any money on that. But I uh, figure people will be interested. So this got this at B&H. It's padded. It's got three slots here. You can fit, if you want to, uh, a mirrorless camera with a couple lenses in here. However, uh, I am probably going to go very, very minimally. So what I will do, and I'm going to slip this down. This, this thing fits perfectly into this bag. You just put it down in here. Good to go. I am going to take my DJI, DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and the extra battery for that with the little tripod thing. And then I will be taking my LX100 Mark II. That can go on into one of these compartments. And I may even take my ZS200 as well. So all of this is going to fit in here. And that padded insert is going to pretty well protect them. So it all fits in here. If I wanted to, I could take my G95 and say the... Um, 14 to 140 lens and maybe one or two extra lenses. I could do that plus the uh, Osmo Pocket 3. And, oh, forgot to mention on the body side there's a little slot here for say travel docks and so on. Um, and then in the little side pocket, this has plenty of room for things like filters. Filter to fit the uh, LX100 Mark II. Some Osmo Pocket 3 filters. Another LX100 Mark II filter. This is probably a, uh, I believe that's an ND. And a little screw in hood for the LX100. And of course, extra batteries. There's a nice little mesh pocket against the outside of this. So you can put stuff in here that you need to keep them rattling around. Also has one of those nice little keychain uh, clips here, so you can clip your keys in there. So, uh, you know, just works really well. Oh, lens pen, really important. And all set and ready to go. Not real heavy, right? So yeah, uh, I like this bag. I've already used it. I'm gonna go out and uh, do some more photography with my minimalist kit here. I'll probably put up a video after I do that, but um, yeah, it's a nice, nice case. Um, they have a smaller version that is on the PackSafe site. I think it's an LS200 or something like that. But again, yeah, you're going to have to go get this at Amazon or maybe you can find it somewhere else, but it's not on PackSafe's site. If this was helpful to you, hey, hit the like button. That's a big help to me. Uh, new subscribers are always welcome. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, I'll get to those as soon as I can. I'm Todd Banner, and I will see you next time.